Now make no mistake, I am urging you to work very hard, be really tough on yourself, set big goals, and don't spend too long stopping to celebrate. But I'm also asking you to be good to yourself and not set expectations or parameters that go beyond what's logical or sensible for you. You can't go from skinny to muscle bound in a month, not legally anyway, nor can you vault from beginner to the top of the publishing world overnight. Today's market is competitive, but good writing eventually finds a home. I sincerely believe that and I've seen it again and again. Force yourself to take a long-term view of your writing career and achievements, since that's the only view that's fair. You'll note, in fact, that for this principle, the word fair appears in each of the three rules. That is not an accident. Writing is a rewarding game, but an obviously difficult one, and I want you to remember to be fair to yourself at every stage of it. The first rule I recommend under this tenet is to judge your own performance with an objective lens to the extent you can. And by this I mean fair in the positive and negative sense. If you're doing great workouts and giving it your all, you know you are, from the sweat you get, from the pounds you shed, from the feeling afterwards. If you're giving something less than your best effort, you know that equally, because the results aren't there, and neither is that feeling of accomplishment. In exercise, it's the presence or absence of the endorphin high. In writing, it's the presence or absence of that unique exhilaration that comes from having gotten the words down even if they won't end up being the final words. Judge yourself right. If you're putting in the effort, acknowledge it well, reflect on the good habits you're practicing, and focus on maintaining them. If you're constantly hitting snags, try to analyze why and change some things until you land on a formula that seems to work for you.